we're going to be talking about Singapore Nursing Board important questions and answers. Well, let's go to lessons. Melina is bleeding from A. Esophagus B. Stomach C. Colon Answer is Stomach Melina Black or tarry stools with a foul smell are a sign of a problem in the upper digestive tract. It most often indicates that there is bleeding in the stomach, small intestines or right side of the colon. Promote wound healing A. Protein and vitamin B B. Protein and vitamin C C. Carbohydrate D. Fat Answer is Protein and vitamin C A patient undergone spinal anesthesia should be nursed in A. Prone position B. Supine C. Lateral D. Semi-prone Answer is supine. Supine position. The patient is face up with their head resting on a pad positioner or pillow and their neck in a neutral position. Which organ is attacked by hypoxia? A. Heart B. Liver C. Brain D. Kidney Answer is brain. Having low oxygen levels in your blood is called hypoxemia. Having low oxygen levels in your tissues is called hypoxia. Hepatitis B is transmitted by A. Blood B. Food C. Saliva Answer is Blood. Hepatitis B is a serious liver infection that causes inflammation that can lead to liver damage. Hepatitis B, also called HPV and Hep B, can cause cirrhosis, liver cancer, and even death. Hepatitis A is transmitted by a. Blood B. Food C. Saliva Answer is Food The Hepatitis A virus is transmitted primarily by the fecal oral route that is when an uninfected patient ingests food or water that has been contaminated with the fecus of an infected patient. Universal Recipient Blood Group A. A. B. O. C. B. D. A. B. Answer is A. B. A. B. Positive blood type is known as the Universal Recipient because A. B. Positive patients can receive red blood cells from all blood types. Universal Donor Blood Group A, A, B, C, C, A, B, D, O Answer is O The blood type O positive can donate blood to all positive blood types like A positive, B positive, AB positive and O positive. It is not a universal donor. Blood type O negative is the universal blood donor meaning that people with this blood type can donate blood to all other types with a lower risk of causing serious reactions in critical condition. Ascites is caused by A. Fluids in the peritoneal cavity B. Fluids in the pleural C. Fluids in the pericardial D. Fluids in the pelvic Answer is Fluids in the peritoneal cavity. Acidity usually occurs when the liver stops working properly, leading to a buildup of fluid in the abdominal area. A doctor may diagnose ascites when more than 25 milliliters of fluid builds up inside the abdomen. When the liver malfunctions, fluid fills the space between the 
abdominal lining and the organs. Following abdominal surgery, abdominal distension is caused by A. Excessive air in the intestine B. Paralytic ileum C. Constipation D. Increased intestine movement Answer is Paralytic ileum Paralytic ileus is a slowing or stopping of intestinal movement. When there is not a physical blockage, it can cause pain, nausea, vomiting and bloating among other symptoms. The condition is common after abdominal surgery. Sodium restricted in patient with congenital cardiac failure because to A. Decrease circulatory volume B. Detain blood in tissues C. Cause irritation to the myocardium D. Promote tubular absorption of water Answer is Decrease circulatory volume since people with heart failure often suffer from volume overload which can overwork the heart, a diet low in sodium can help lessen fluid retention meaning the heart doesn't have to work so hard. A child with epilepsy is advised not to a. participate in exercise, b. cycling alone, c. take cold food or drinks. Answer is cycling alone. Epilepsy is a central nervous system neurological disorder in which brain activity becomes abnormal causing seizures or periods of unusual behavior, sensations and sometimes loss of awareness. The amputated stump is bandaged with a pressure bandage for a week after surgery for a purpose of a. Prevent infection B. Prevent hemorrhage C. Molding the stump for better prosthetic fit Answer is Molding the stump for better prosthetic fit After a patient's leg is amputated, wrapping his stump with pressure bandages helps protect the healing tissues holds the wound dressing in place, reduces swelling and saves the residual limb for pro prosthesis. The immediate action for a child with acute asthmatic attack is A. Administer bronchodilator B. Administer expectorant Answer is Administer bronchodilator an asthma attack is a sudden worsening of asthma symptoms caused by the tightening of muscles around your airways. This tightening is called a bronchospasm. All of these factors, bronchospasm, inflammation and mucus production, cause symptoms of an asthma attack such as trouble breathing, wheezing, coughing, shortness of breath and difficulty performing normal daily activities. When asthma attack Sit up straight and try to remain calm, not lie down. Take one puff of a reliever or rescue inhaler every 30 to 60 seconds with a maximum of 10 puffs. If symptoms get worse or do not improve after 10 puffs, seek emergency medical care. Bronchodilators are a type of medication that make breathing easier by relaxing the muscles in the lungs and widening the airways. In a leukemia child, skin become bruises is caused by A. Absence of factor 8 B. Low platelet count C. Low HP count D. Raised WPC count Answer is Low platelet count People with leukemia are more likely to bruise because their bodies don't make enough platelets to block bleeding blood vessels. In severe gastroenteritis, sodium bicarbonate given via IV is to treat A. Hyponatremia B. Hypocalcemia C. Acidosis D. Alkalosis Answer is Acidosis Sodium bicarbonate also known as baking soda is used to relieve heartburn, sore stomach or acid indigestion by neutralizing 
exostomach acid. When used for this purpose, it is said to belong to the group of medicines called antacids. It may be used to treat the symptoms of stomach or duodenal ulcers. Massive edema in nephrotic syndrome is partly due to a. too much fluid intake b. difficult in passing urine c. decrease osmotic pressure in blood vessels d. hyperalbuminemia answer is decrease osmotic pressure in blood vessels nephrotic syndrome develops when there is damage to the filtering part of the kidneys glomerulus this result in protein spilling into the urine proteinuria loss of proteins from your blood allows fluid to leak out of the blood vessels into the nearby tissues called swelling the primary objective of drug therapy in the treatment of glaucoma is to a dilate the pupil b decrease intraocular pressure c increase convexity of the lens answer is decrease intraocular pressure glaucoma is typically caused by high pressure inside your eyes however diabetes can also be a risk factor for glaucoma the main mechanism of action of anti glaucoma therapeutic agents are reduced production of aqueous humor from the ciliary body increased evacuation of a aqueous humor through the trabecular meswork and through the uveoscleral way the vitreous humor a fills posterior 4/5 of bulb of the eye b is a nutrient of the lens c serves to regulate intraocular pressure D circulates through the chamber of the eye. Answer is fills posterior four fifth of bulb of the eye. The vitreous body. The vitreous body forms about four fifth of the bulb of the eye. It fills the concavity of the retina and is hollowed in front, forming a deep concavity. The highlight fossa for the reception of the lens. The vitreous humor, also known simply as the vitreous, is a clear, colorless fluid that fills the space between the lens and retina of your eye. Ninety-nine percentage of it consists of water, and the rest is a mixture of collagen, protein, salt, and sugars. The early complication of tonsillectomy is a infection, b pneumonia, c hemorrhage. Answer is hemorrhage. Tonsillectomy is the surgical removal of the tonsil. Two oval-shaped pads of tissues at the back of the throat. One tonsils on each side. A tonsillectomy was once a common procedure to treat infection and inflammation of the tonsils. Complications have been divided into early complications, primary hemorrhage and respiratory compromise, and late complication. dehydration and secondary hemorrhage following tonsillectomy patient should be nursed in a supine position b semi prone c fowler's d trendlenburg answer is semi prone semi prone position also called side lying or recovery position to drain secretions and prevent aspirations semi prone position meaning the position of a patient lying face downwards but with one or both knees flexed to one side so that the body is not lying completely flat the maintenance of flow in drainage system is done by A. Ensuring adequate length in tubing. B. Close observation of nature of flow. C. Ensuring adequate vacuum in the bottle. Answer is ensuring adequate length in tubing. The following can delay wound healing except.
A. Steroid therapy B. Anemia C. Ampulation D. Infection Answer is Ampulation The indicative sign of hemorrhage following surgery A. Increase in pulse rate and BP B. Abdominal discomfort and pain C. Paler and warm skin D. Progressive blood stain and drainage Answer is Progressive blood stain and drainage the following nursing care would be implemented for neonate except A. Maintain body temperature B. Maintain fluid and electrolyte balance C. Promote early ampulation D. Provide medical and surgical asepsis Answer is Promote early ampulation Name with the complication of intestinal obstruction A. Peritonitis and nausea B. Nausea and vomiting C. Peritonitis and perforation Intestinal obstruction means a partial or complete block of the small or large intestine that keeps food, liquid, gas and stool from moving through the intestines in a normal way. Complication of intestinal obstruction Dehydration, electrolyte imbalance, infection, jaundice, perforation hole in the intestines Peritonitis, sepsis. List a specific investigation for peritonitis. A. Abdominal X-ray blood culture. B. WPC chest X-ray. C. ECG HP. Answer is abdominal X-ray and blood culture. Peritonitis means inflammation of the peritoneum means the shoe that lines in the abdominal wall and covers most of the organs in the abdomen. Peritonitis can result from infection, injury and certain disease. Investigation Blood test, culture and sensitivity, imaging test, abdominal x-ray, CT scan, peritoneal fluid analysis. List two indicators for TU or P. A. Prostate megaly and CA prostate. B. Urinary incontinence and CA bladder. C. Urethral stricture. D. Dribbling of urine. Answer is prostate megaly and CA prostate. A transurethral resection of the prostate TURB is a surgical procedure that involves cutting away a section of the prostate. The prostate is a small gland in the pelvis only found in men. What is the most clinical feature of pleural effusion? A. Dyspnea B. Pain on excision C. Chest X-ray indicating air in the pleural space Answer is dyspnea. Pleural effusion is abnormal collection of fluid between the thin layers of the so means pleura lining the lung and wall of the chest cavity. Clinical feature of pleural effusion chest pain, dry, non productive cough, dyspnea, shortness of breath or difficult labored breathing, orthopenia, the inability to breathe. Easily unless the person is sitting up straight or standing erect. What is the normal BP for one year child? A. 7200 bar 5270. B. 6290 or 55260. C. 65295 or 55265. D. 65 to 60 or 50 to 60. Answer is 70 to 100 or 50 to 70.